So it's been not even a week since we talked about the mugshot. And let me show you this. From the Consciously's Instagram, Donald Trump's 2024 campaign raised over $7 million off the mugshot. I'm making another video about like the personal part of this, but like I am not saying stuff to be contrary. And I, I literally am just trying to like, I just want the world to be better. That's really the only reason I ever say anything that I say. And yes, it's largely for selfish reasons because I live in the world. So when I say something's not a joke or you should take it more seriously or you should do a thing, I'm not saying that for my health or to cause you pain or because like, you know, I'm trying to indict you. It's because I look at thing A and see that it's going to lead to thing B as I see it. Do you know how many profile pictures? And the worst part is that like some of its leftist profile pictures and some of its right wing profile pictures, all of that mugshot. And that money is going to be used against our interests, where, no matter where you stand on the political spectrum, right? Even if you like him, it's still going to be used against your best interests. And again, my point is that it's not a joke. It's not funny. And I also don't see what's the win. There is no win. There is nothing to celebrate. He didn't go to jail. He didn't get put under the jail. <laughs> he didn't get removed from public life. He literally went in and had what amounted to a photo shoot at the Fulton County Jail. And let me use this conversation as a springboard onto like a larger, more overarching topic, which is we are amusing ourselves to death. Okay. Like one of the things that is very common for liberals and leftists to say about like right wing preppers, et cetera, et cetera, is like, Oh, ha, 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 look at them LARPing with all of their, like, plate carriers and their, like, cargo pants and, like, all their guns and ammunition, like, tee, hee, hee. What's funny about that? And here's the other thing, right? What you call LARPing, reframe that in your head. What if it's not LARPing but practicing? Like I said in the last video, we have a hard time looking at people and seeing where they're going to sit in like the historical record, right? Like we look at a person who we grew up with and we don't see that they have been, say, practicing a skill and have become someone who is excellent at something that another person would look at them and become a fan immediately. And we don't give them any credit because we're like, oh yeah, I remember that time you, I don't know, fell down or whatever. And similarly, when we see these people who are, you know, the beans and guns in bunkers type of prepper, right? Or just like that whole sort of mentality, we look at it as a joke. It's not a joke. They have the tools. They're practicing. When they're out plinking in their backyards, like, Maybe. And I mean, I, I sincerely hope the day never comes where we find out if they're just playing or not. But do you really think that giving the opportunity, given what we've seen, you know that if they had the opportunity, they would put those skills to use. And this is why I keep coming back to the term whistling past the graveyard these days. Like it's easy to laugh at things and downplay them, but it's much less easy to take things seriously and still be able to maintain the sense of hope and joy and like revolutionary optimism. Because like, to me, hope is just empty. Hope isn't, hope is useless. I have revolutionary optimism. I believe that people, most people just want to be all right. And if we can make conditions such that the average person can be all right, the average person will stop being such a piece of shit to other people. The reason things are so bad is because things are so bad right? You can't convince someone that immigrants are coming to steal the little bit of food on their plate if they didn't have such a, you know, a small amount of food on their plate to begin with. Anyway, take people seriously, right? And not just for bad, but also for good. Look at the people around you. Look at the skills they have. Look at the people who they have become under your nose, okay? And give them appreciation for who they are outside of your relationship with them. I said this before kind of jokingly, but like, really, we need like a take your friends to work kind of day where you can get to see the people that you know and love as other people see them, right? People who don't know them on like a personal level and therefore have the like the instinct to downplay them or make them look small. It's really weird that we like have the instinct to make the people we're closest to look and feel smaller than they are like it's really weird it's not a good thing anyway before i ramble too much more it's not a joke he's not a joke and he's making lots of money off of this mugshot that y'all were celebrating there's nothing there to celebrate and when there is i will be right there with you but we aren't there yet